Hello everybody, welcome to the dojo. In today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing of a wakizashi I got today. And it'll just be a first impression. And just to see if it's worth the money or to see if it is not worth buying. Knife check. This is a cold steel tie light, Vin Thompson series. So it's already not well packaged. It's covered in just tape. So this is a low budget wakizashi I got, just to see what a low budget price range will get you. Now, not to be confused, it's advertised as a high budget wakizashi, but the price, the price was very cheap. And it doesn't look like there's any packaging slip or invoice, so I can't tell you exactly how much I paid for it, but I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon, to the Amazon um, page that I ordered it from. made a big mess all over the dojo with this cheap styrofoam but maybe that's the secret to a good cheap sword is the cheap styrofoam packaging they ship it in so let's see it's very warm it's very hot like it has the restless spirits was shipped with restless spirits within. It's very hot. It's covered in plastic. It's quite shiny. It's very shiny. Don't think I've ever seen, for instance, here is a, another Wakazashi. It's not as shiny. And here is a Katana. Also, it's not nearly as shiny. Okay, so it does have a decent weight to it. Hmm. It is all imitation ray skin. Everything seems to be tight. It has a nice, it smells very bad. The restless souls. Now, it does have a decent draw. It is very beautiful. The suba is very beautiful. It hasn't. It does have a nice handle shape. Now let's look at the blade. Wow. It has some shipping oil on it, so I'm just going to give it a wipe. Oh wow, no. The blade is very, very pretty. It appears to be sharp. It has a nice geometry. Does it wiggle? Very sharp.
Hmm. I do like the weight of it. And I like the length. I do like the length of it. We'll reach out and grab. Maybe I can get some close-ups of this blade. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because when I was researching this blade online, I could not find any videos of this brand name or this company. So I thought I'll do a quick video to show anybody searching these terms on Google for a video of the quality of this brand name and the quality of these weapons. Now, compared to a higher end katana, this is a Hanwei Lion Dog katana. Really? It's not bad. Now as you can hear this one has the bohi. It has very nice curvature. It's a nice thickness. I was surprised how thick it actually is all the way to the point. Now I'm tempted already to do some cutting with it. So maybe we can get some cuts in with it. You know, I'm not too fond of this shiny finish on the Saya. But I'm sure that can be easily fixed. Now, I believe in uh, only owning one sword, so I only have one sword, but the Wakazashi is more of a sidearm, a secondary weapon, so I have a few of these. And this is a lower end one. Again, you can check the link to the Amazon ad that I bought this from. Now, I did my research. This does have T10 steel, which is a super steel compared to what they had on the battlefield thousands of years ago. T10 is superior to anything they would have had. <clears throat> thousands of years ago. So for a little over a hundred dollars, I'll update on my Instagram stories. If I break it or it becomes loose, I'll let you guys know. But it really does feel pretty solid and from first impressions, I'm happy with my purchase. Um, I wouldn't rate it on Amazon just yet. I do like the copper tones, bronze tones and of the fittings. Now, I did have to go through a few pages to find this one. This wasn't easily searchable keywords. I was looking for something very exact and this of uh, a criteria of steel, blade length, and materials, and price range. And with all my keywords, this was the only one that actually fit. There's one other one that fit, but it just looked too cheap. I could just tell. I could tell from, I didn't trust the ad, but maybe you can check the description and let me know if you think I got ripped off or if I made a good purchase. Now this will be one of my wakazashi that I carry now. I have a philosophy on the wakazashi that in today's modern era, it's better to have a wakazashi than even a full-size katana. So I've really been training wakazashi a lot lately. 
I also have this one, which is an Aito. It's not sharpened. This one is 1060 hardened steel. But as I was saying, the Wakazashi is probably more capable in today's combat zones, close quarter combat, any kind of predicament, home defense. You can use this easier in a hallway. You can get in and out of vehicles, transport. It's smaller, easier to conceal. Then a regular katana would stick way out, like, you know. So the Wakazashi, I've been training a lot, and I highly recommend. Not even this one, maybe, perhaps. We'll see if it stands to my cutting test, and the durability is good. Maybe I will recommend this one, because it's very cheap. But I do recommend Wakazashi before any katana because of the size and form factor and it's just as deadly as katana.